hello guys welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i believe you guys i believe you guys are having an amazing time so all right guys so welcome back to my channel in case you guys don't know my name is blessing i am an agent here in north cyprus the name of my agency is called inno global educational services so for all of you that wants to study here in north cyprus all right so Thank you guys for all your support if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button and subscribe because i give you informative um video about coming to north cyprus and so if you guys want to know a lot about north cyprus subscribe to my channel so let's get started all right guys so this video is a long awaited video and it's time for me to do it and i'm sorry for those of you guys that have already arrived but yeah i'm doing two things at the same time i'm working and i'm also doing agency as a part-time job so it's been a lot anyway so guys so let's just talk about this thing so the topic of today's video is how to pack your luggage so i said again how to like arrange your luggage when you're leaving your home country to come over to north cyprus like preparing yourself whatever you want to call it so let's just talk about it now most airline has the same rules and regulations so i'll just be capitalizing on turkish airline because i think i'm used to turkish airline so whatever it applies to every other airline you just check out your um your itinerary and know what the kg that they need so first off is one thing that you have to know eh, you have to check for the kg uh, for turkish airline what kg means like the um the the weight of luggage you can carry that's what i mean so for turkish airline you're permitted to carry 46 kg where you will carry 23 in one another 23 in another one so you're going to carry two luggage so that's the that's the permitted one all right so they also have your hand your handbag or whatever like your hand luggage basically that one is minus anything but the main luggage 23 23 all right guys so and i also like i said it also applies to other airline like other people just check morocco airline all those things just check and know what how many kg that the flight that you the airline that you booked how many kg is permitted and everything so yeah so now that you've known the kg that's um is prescribed the kg that you should carry what i will say is that let one of your bag like one of your luggage let it be like you clothes like clothes all your kind of clothes and everything so let one of your luggage be clothes basically you can carry as much as things that you want to carry um hair your hair all those things all those things just carry it in one luggage then the other bag should be full stuff I think I'm I'm really an advocate of people carrying food stuff. The reason why, the reason being that I feel like the first two two months or three months that you just arrive in a new country, whichever country that is, you just arrive, you just want to um chill back, understand the uh, currency, the exchange rate and everything before you start spending like a reasonable amount of money. I don't know if you understand so if you carry enough luggage like if you carry sorry if you carry enough food stuff you will be at advantage because you'll not be spending much money to go to the grocery store and when they tell you that oh this one is one tl you now convert it to for example you now convert it to naira oh my god this is so high and everything but if you come with enough food luggage you might just be buying all the small small things to add to what you have the main bulk money you will not spend it then for about two months you now understand how the system is you now understand the currency and everything so you know how to go about the situation so that's why i, I always say carry enough food stuff carry enough food stuff for yourself because it's going to really 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 help you it's going to really help you financially it's going to help you some people don't like eating <laughs> this other food like some people that really love their native food you're not gonna see it on a cheap price in overseas here so bring all those stuff it will really 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 i'm telling you it will really go a long way it will go a long way a long way i cannot even emphasize on that if you like your um local food and all those things bring enough for example let me just say a goosey grand your goosey 
grand pepper it goes see is melon sorry so grand your melon because i know i have a wide range of people watching me so um grand your melon um grand hot pepper because of course you know this white people here they don't really eat hot pepper so grand your hot pepper back home grand um crayfish you can bring dried fish um you bring all those things that you know that can add some your local spice to everything bring it so that you not get like oh <laughs> i'm missing home and all that so all those things are nice so reiterating what i'm saying what i said is that first of all let one bag be for your clothes and everything then the other bag you put those food stuff branded everything um i know that um different african countries have different recipes so those your recipe those liberian recipe those in uh, kenya recipe all those things that you know ethiopia all those things that you would know that you know, they know that is african thing that they will not have you bring it bring it is going to be very very helpful for you guys i hope i've talked a lot about helpful so yeah so that being said then the next thing that you have to do if if you're a lady oh thank god i just remember this if you're a lady um, you see all this um, extension wig wig is very helpful very very perfect wig so bring enough wig that you have don't drop your wig at, at home and just come here bring your wig bring attachments bring extensions bring cream all those all those kind of cream that can take care of our black hair because the products here they are nice but they are not streamlined to afro hair so you bring in an afro hair you have and you don't understand the system you, you will not be having me often to be asking me which kind of cream am i going to use over here so bring those um, african cream and all those things that can that can be good with your um, afro you understand our afro kind of hair so bring all those products it's gonna be really it's gonna be really really helpful for you guys and also again for the guys because i know i have majority of you guys are majority of my viewers are guys bring clipper bring hair clipper even if you don't know how to barb yourself or whatever but bring hair clipper because um there are so many stories um so just bring your hair clipper you can use it to make it you can use it to start business you can use it for yourself you just go to because the truth is that majority of the barbers here the locals they don't know how to black barb uh, african hair so you better for you to bring your your clipper so you can tell your friend to help you or something like that just just to be on the same like bring your clipper and yeah i hope i'm not talking too fast so your clothes your clipper all those are essentials and everything so the next and most vital and important the most important thing is your document so this is how you do it you have a file whether a clear bag or a brown envelope whatever you can locate your hand with and whatever you can find just put all your documents all your original documents put everything in that file conditional unconditional put them in that file because that's your hand luggage is going to be with you like all your documents are going to be with you you will not see you will not get to see your luggage again when you leave your home country until you arrive here in north cyprus so yeah when you get to Chuck, um, turkey they're going to ask you of your um, conditional letter or something so whatever they ask you is with you is your hand luggage is your backpack so you're with it so you just bring it and show them even when you get to north cyprus yeah that is the only thing that immigration asks you the you of all your documents so you have to have that so arranging your this thing arrange your file arrange it and hold it as your hand luggage because you're gonna need all those things so um i believe i'm not missing anything bring your clothes bring winter and summer clothes because you're going to need both bring your food stuff your local food stuff most important your your documents and everything put them all arrange them and put in a file then put it in your handbag or your backpack whatever the case is so that you're going to be safe so this is how to prepare yourself coming from your home country to north cyprus and when you land i hope you guys have learned one or two things from this video thank you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel follow me on the socials and everything i'm gonna see you guys in my next one bye guys